by Haran Yahya. Human beings breathe as a reflex. Dolphins do so consciously. In the same way that we decide to walk, they decide to breathe. When they rise to the surface, they fill 80 to 90 percent of their lungs with air so that they can stay underwater for a long time. Breathing while asleep is no problem for them. For they use their brain's right and left lobes alternately for 15-minute periods. While one lobe sleeps, the other is on duty so that the dolphin can ascend to the surface and breathe. Human beings are not the only entities on Earth with complex features. Just about everywhere you research and investigate. You can see countless complex and varied life forms flying in the sky or living in the depths of the oceans. The way that they have been created differently from us and from each other, as well as in different kingdoms, is part of the wisdom of God, the creator of all distinct works and beauties. Human beings cannot equip living things to breathe underwater or enable them to fill their lungs with air to a specific level. They cannot endow anything with the ability to control its cerebral lobes or teach it how to operate the systems it needs to sustain life while asleep. They cannot bestow upon any living thing the most appropriate means and features to survive in their various environment. In fact, human beings cannot do these things even for themselves. Given these facts, how can blind chance and coincidence accomplish that which conscious human beings cannot? The theory of evolution, which makes chance its deity and maintains that everything came into being in a random manner, has completely collapsed in the face of modern science's ongoing revelations of these previously unknown complex structures. Only Almighty God can give life, endow living entities with what they need to survive, bestow blessings upon them, and equip them accordingly. People who encounter these blessings at all moments need to reflect on our Lord's mercy and blessings and to turn to Him in the creation of the heavens and earth and the alternation of the night and day, and the ships that sail the seas to people's benefit, and the water that God sends down from the sky by which he brings the ground to life when it was dead and scatters about in it creatures of every kind and the varying direction of the winds, and the clouds, that are subservient between heaven and earth, there are signs for people who use their intellect. Opening parenthesis. Surat al-Baqarah, 164. The writer has authored more than 300 books translated in 73 languages on politics, religion and science.